So Sundays are um, going to be devoted to my daughter, um, which does not mean that I get to be off work because I'm a working single mother and working single mothers work all the time. It does mean that my daughter is going to learn and she's going to spend a lot of time learning how to be responsible. More spice than sugar. That sums up my darling daughter. Yes, I wear my chucks in the morning. I wear them all the time. This is my darling sleepy daughter. Darling sleepy daughter, come, come on. I want to teach you about poker. No, I'm just going to go in my house. Bring your dogs. You can snuggle with them. I made your hot cocoa. Come on. We have lessons to learn. Okay. Are you making goofy faces? Oh my gosh, come on. Let me see this necklace that your dad got you. I put my ring on it. <laughs> your mustache ring? That's mood. A mood. Oh, and you love robots. That's awesome. All right, grab your stinky little dogs and come with me. I want to teach you about poker. Seriously. You're 10. It's time for you to start learning business. We are going to spend Sundays together, and if Sundays mean that you help me work all day, you help me all work all day. You know why C Carrie J. Blunk is so successful? Because she has a daughter. She has a daughter that cares to help her mother. Are you saying that? <laughs> I'm saying you do care, which is why you're going to help me on Sundays. And I'm going to start to teach you about my business, because I'm going to need a business partner. But you're going to go to college. But when I'm older, I'm not going to do this. You're not. You're going to go to college. But I can't get you to college unless I make enough money with my business. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So if you want a future, you have to help work. start working for it now. You're working towards your future. Don't smash your dogs. Come on, okay. <clears throat> so this morning, I got up early. I slept in until about 6, and I was blogging. Um, I was blogging, actually, about business. And I was plugging other photographers' business. Do you see your picture in there? That's me. Okay. That is you. More spice than sugar. Yep. What does that mean? That was the title. When you enter a, a portrait in a print competition, you have to come up with a title. Um, the title should represent the storytelling. Um, images are, are judged on composition, color, tone, light, storytelling. Um... <coughs> There's a whole process. Look at that. So you've been nationally published. Your picture's been nationally pu published. So I made your cocoa. I love hot cocoa with mini marshmallows, even. I have to lift up my I'll get him. Let's try and oh, sh oh, then teeny bit him in the head. Okay. So I got an email today, Sapphire. I got an email from a client who read my blog. So we're going to answer it. That's my website. I uh, want to use some images on my blog today from some of my work, but trying to find the individual images that I want in my, um, in my external hard drives takes a long time. And I have other things I need to get done today, including my mother's birthday. It was her birthday yesterday. I forgot to call her. Um, it was her birthday yesterday? Yep. Patrick's day? Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh baby today. Emma. Look at these. I love those people. Oh, I don't know those people very well. Oh, that's Kim Etchie's baby. Oh, <laughs> I love those people. Oh, I love those people, too. Oh, I love those people, too. Oh, I love those people, too. Yes, I do. Oh, my gosh, I love all these people. Like, every single one of those images. Ah, oh, good memories. Good memories. Yay. Oh, okay, so I'm very happy. Sapphire. What? What are you doing? Ooh, look at that. It's a beautiful family portrait. Okay, so. Ah. Oh. Holy stink. That's a beautiful family portrait. So what works about this uh, family portrait, including composition, is their wardrobe choice. Wardrobe choice in, in portraiture is um, key. 
notice that they don't all, they're not just all conformed and matching, but they all are in the same color pa palette. Yeah. And you kind of get the checkerboard effect with the blue jeans and then the blue shirts, so it's keeping those same color consistency throughout, but also giving the vigil, the individual attention to the, the people. Um, colors and tones all lend themselves really nicely. I think the artist could have probably done a little bit more cleanup work on the grounds as far as some of uh, some of the lightest, the lighter spots in the picture down below. It kind of takes your interest a little bit off of there. But it also, if you do the pullback, it does kind of keep it framed. Um, you always want your eye to go to the center of a portrait, um, but you also don't want it to be perfectly centered. So if you if you come back in this composition, you'll see that they're not smack dab in the middle. Um, you definitely, so it gives you the feel of the height of the building, um, keeping your subject in scale, in proportionate, in proportion. Do beautiful. I like to take, I like to take family portraits like this. The biggest thing we get is families saying that they don't have time to come in for a consultation or it's just so hard to get everybody together, and then so-and-so's arguing about what to wear and what time of day. Family portrait sessions do take a lot of planning, and so you have a lot of individual ideas. Um, that's why consultations are absolutely a good idea, because images like this consultation is when you come in to put together a plan for your session. So. I would have a client that would come in and we would meet and we would have cocoa and we would talk about what they're looking for, how much they're looking to spend, um, what are they going to wear, what are they going to bring to the session, what to expect, how do we order pictures. We just basically talk about the business and what we do and show them our products so that they leave being able to make an informed decision. Most consultations last about an hour. Okay. Do you think they're a good idea? Would you come to a consultation if it was free? Mm -hmm. Okay. Only if it was free. Only if it was free. Would you pay to get your pictures taken if you knew you had to buy the pictures after? Why? If they were good pictures. If they were good pictures. And what makes a good picture? Prettiness. Prettiness. All right. We're going to expand upon that, I think. This should be... And, and, oh, look at those eyes. End of video. Ooh.